Hello and welcome back to another YAWL tutorial. Timeouts are useful when something takes too long. YAWL has so-called timer tasks that allow you to stop waiting for the completion of a work item when a certain time is reached or a time interval has elapsed. In this tutorial we will show you how timer tasks work. Our example today is a silence procedure where a proposition is accepted if no one rejects it in a certain time interval. As usual you can find the workflow specification in the companion page following the link below. On the screen we have already our specification from the supplementary material open in the YAWL editor. The file is called tutorial13.yaw and this specification is a silence procedure. So essentially someone writes a proposal and then this proposal is distributed to three entities A, B and C who can evaluate the proposal. If their evaluation is positive and all of them are positive the same user that has written the proposal notes the acceptance of the proposal. If however one of them rejects the proposal, we go here to this cancellation task and once this is completed all of the other evaluations are cancelled as you can see from this cancellation region. Cancellation regions were a topic of the previous tutorial. Then note rejection is executed and this is offered to the same user that has written the proposal. So what we want to do now is to introduce timer tasks for the evaluations. So if someone fails to evaluate the proposal in a given time interval, this means that the proposal is accepted from this perspective and our timer task can help us here. So let's edit timer tasks. We select evaluate proposal A and on the left hand side we see timer and if we click on the three dots we now have the possibility to set a timer for this task and we can set it either on offer or on start. On offer is the correct choice here and then we have the possibility to set when the task expires and we can either set an exact date, a fixed date or we can say after a duration or we can even do this via a variable. But for this variable we need a variable in the specification. We will not cover this here now. What we will do is we will do this after a duration of and then we have seconds, minutes, hours, days and so on and so forth. So for testing purposes we will set this to two minutes and click OK and then we do the same for evaluate proposal B. We'll set this to two minutes and also for evaluate proposal C. And you can see now that these tasks have this clock symbol here indicating that we have timer tasks here. We save the specification and we upload it to the YAWL engine. The specification is loaded. We start a new case and we go to the admin work list and we have the first work item here, write proposal. This is the first task here and we offer it to 
our own user here who is administrator and ordinary user at the same time. Go back to the work list and then we will just fill in this work item. We write a proposal and complete this. Go back to the admin work list. We can now see that we have three work items here one for each evaluation. So we can imagine three different people have to evaluate that. And we also see that these work items expire at 1727 and now we have 1725. And so what I'll do is I'll just pick one of them um, and offer that to our own user. So this is the evaluate proposal B. go to my work list and then work on this one and let's say we accept this one go back to the admin work list and now we see we have still two work items here um, they are still unoffered and um, they expire at 1727. So now let's wait for it. We have to refresh it from time to time. Now you can see the time has elapsed. Now we have the next task, note acceptance here. And we can now offer this again to our own user. Go to the work list. We note the acceptance, complete the work item, and our case is finished. I'm sure you already have an idea where to use timer tasks. If you do this and are successful, please let me know in the comments below. See you next time.